Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lee. In today's video, I would like to talk about why you want to use Nix Package Manager and how to install and start using Nix OS. Let's get started. First of all, let me open my browser. Go to my Prosmux. I will create a new VM for our demo. Let's call it demo. Use the NixOS image. I will assign 40 gigabytes of um, disk, two cores, and four gigabytes of memory. Uh, I need to take this box. And then we can confirm. Okay, once it's done, we can open the console and start. Okay, so we can start, install. So let's change it to British English. Okay. Uh, location is correct. Change the keyboard back to US because my slash key is here. And put in my username, password, same password for administrator. I will choose no desktop because this, this VM doesn't have a good um, graphic card. So it will be quite laggy if I choose GNOME here. So let's go next. Allow unfree software. I will use the whole disk, don't care about the swap for the moment, and then we can install. While we are waiting, I want to talk a little bit about why I use Nix Package Manager. So the reason for using Nix is that um, all the configurations are decorative. That means I can um, put all the configuration, including the application um, settings on a file inside a folder, and then I can version control this folder. Whenever I need to set up a new machine, I just need to copy this, this folder to the new machine, do a rebuild, and the new machine will be um, in the same state as my old machine, um, and you know, where the configuration was built. Another reason is that it is immutable. That means packages, they don't affect each other. I was using Homebrew before, and I noticed that sometimes Homebrew will install unnecessary packages or you know take over some of the packages so it's really really annoying i want to have the full control of that okay so that's done let's just restart okay we can log in All right, so let's go back to my um, browser, go to my blog post, and this is the one I'm going to follow today. We have done the installation, so let's go to get start part and do the initial setup. So for the initial setup, I would like to install a editor called Micro uh, to my machine. Also enable the open SSH uh, for this server, so I can SSH um, from my host terminal. The last thing is to enable the QEMU, sorry, QEMU guest agent on the server. Um, so what we do is, uh, let's go back to the browser window. And if you are familiar with Debian or Ubuntu, you know you to install something, you use the APK package manager, right? So on Nix, um, it is a little bit different because everything is decorative. So let's go to etc. Nix OS, and then we can take a look at the folder. We've got two files. Um, hardware configurations is how you want to set up your hardware, apparently. So we need to focus on the configuration.nix file. So nano configurations, and we can take a look here. Um, 
So I'm sorry, I, I know this test is a little bit uh, tiny, so I can't enlarge it because it's on the browser. Uh, I will fix that later on after we can SSH into the machine. So to install a software, what you need to do is to put down the software name here. So I just put micro here. If you like Vim, you can just uncommon here to have Vim, right? So we also need to enable the OpenSSH um, service, which is here. So let me just uncommon this line. The last thing is to enable the um, QEMU guest true. All right, so before we rebuild the configuration, let's have a look if we have micro, which we don't. And what about OpenSSH? Let's have a look. Status, SSHD, um, nothing, right? So now we can review, Nix OS, review, switch. Okay, so that's all done. So let's have a look. We have micro now. We also have Vim. And if we take a look at the um, status D, it is active, right? That means I can SSH into my VM. Um, from my host terminal. Let's have a look. So the IP address is 192.168.3 and 86. Let's just open my terminal. SSH, so it's six, right? And wrong password and try again. Now we are logging, so we don't need this page anymore. Let me enlarge the test a little bit so it's clear for you. Now that you know how to install the software just by putting the sort package name under the environment.systempkgs, right? Uh, what if you want to do something else like um, adding a SSH public key to your um, user and then you can use SSH um, certificate to log in. Um, so what you can do is to go to NixOS and there is a search button here and then let's try to search SSH authorize uh, and then do search so apparently this is not a package this is something we want to configure so let's go to options we can see there are a lot of things here but probably the first one let's have a look so um, from reading the text we know that this is probably something we want so what we need to do is to put this SSH public key under user user username open SSH authorized keys and keys right so let's go back to my blog post and and also I will need to modify the configuration files and go to user users. Do we have that? Yes, we've got user user dot name, right? So what we need is the open ssh dot authorized keys dot keys so essentially just this part let me just copy that and paste in save quick and then we can review mm. Okay, once that's done, we can try to SSH into my VM using the certificate. You see, I'm not getting any password prom. That means I'm using the certificate to log in, right? So after we are using the certificate to log in successfully, we probably want to disable the password login, right? So we can also search the password login from here. Let's see if we have password and we can find um maybe this one doesn't look like it enable ask but what about this one all right so this looks promising specify whether password authentication is allowed that looks like what we what we are after so let's just copy this line uh we struggle with this thing so let me just copy from here then go back to here mix os configurations and if we scroll down 
and we can see there is a service to open SSH session. We can paste it here just to group these things together, right? So we want to set it as false because default value is true, right? Um, you can do it like this. So two lines with um, different settings. So you can also group them together like this because they all start with service.openSSH. I will leave it as it is. And then I will do a review. Hmm, interesting, I can't, yep, yeah, fine here. After that is done, we can exit. If we try again, we can see we're not allowed to log in with the password, right? So we must use the certificate to log in. All right, so these two are quite simple. So we know how we want to find the things. So what about I want to install Docker on our machine? So let's search Docker here. So if a Docker, we know it could be a package. Um, it could also be a service, right? So if we search Docker here, we find the virtualization.docker.enable, which seems to be um, installing Docker for me. So let's have a try. Go back to our terminal. Um, Nix OS, configurations. I will go to the bottom of the file and put it there. Um, true. All right, so let's review. Okay, we can see this is done. So let's just go out, go inside, docker ps, doesn't work. What if I want to do sudo, sudo works. So probably something to do with our user. So let's take a look at this line. It says users in the Docker group can interact with the daemon. So let's see if our user is in Docker group. Okay, so if it's not, we can add it back. So this is our user. Yep, it's not in the Docker group. So we just add Docker group to the user. Do the rebuild. Um, Docker again, not allowed. That's okay. Let's try again. So now we can use Docker, right? From this user. Uh, let's see, version, so we've got this uh, 2010, uh, 21 install, we also got Docker Compose version 2, 12, 2. All right, so this is how you can find um, all the options and uh, packages. So first of all, you've got this um, NixOS search um, for, uh, for your needs, so you can find a package for different channels. Then you can find options for different services, right? If you can't find what you need, you also you can also go to uh, NixOS forum. So for example, if I want to disable the password for sudo, so as you can see now, every time I want to rebuild, I need to put in the password, right? Um, so how do I disable that? I don't recommend it, but this is just an example here. We can go to the NixOS forum. Um, and then search uh, what we want. So let's say sudo password. So we can come up with this um, post. We can find the answers there. Um, you also have the um, another place you probably want to try, which is called NixOS Wiki. Um, there are a lot of contents here. So these are three main source, I would say. Go and find um, the information you need. Okay, so let's just focus on how to disable password for sudo first. So I've got copy the um, information from that post. I will just copy here, go back to our terminal and NixOS configurations. I'll put this at the bottom of the page. So let me just use that and I can paste it here delete this line, change this to our username, and rebuild. We all set, let's see. All 
All right, so let's log out. Logging back. So let's try micro. Yep, as you can see, I don't need the password for running sudo now. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you is how to update packages. If you're using Debian and Ubuntu, as I mentioned before, you, uh, you will use the sudo apk update and upgrade for upgrading packages on the system. Uh, you can't do the same on Nix. Uh, on Nix, you, you have this concept of different channels. So the channels will have the different versions of the of your um, packages. So as we can see, by default, we've got the channel NixOS has 21, sorry, 22.11. Uh, if we want to have um, the latest version, I mean, package versions for that channel, we will run um, nix-channel update. Once the update has been completed, we will rebuild the system, and then you will build all the new versions of the packages on our system. So let's rebuild. All right, so that's how you um, update packages on NixOS. Um, and that's all I want to cover in this first video. I plan to do um, two more, one for Home Manager, one for NixFlakes. So I'm hoping uh, these videos can help you to start using Nix. And um, yeah, thank you for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.